Hey everybody, Jason here, and uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, newest Star Trek movie, uh, Star Trek Beyond. So I actually just got back from watching it, and uh, I'll just say uh, first off that I thought it was a fantastic movie. Uh, compared to the other two, this one definitely focused a lot more heavily on the like the crew of the ship, and it was very, it was very close. Um, like the last one, it was good, but. It was such a broad scope, and it covered so many different things, and you never really got to see the crew uh, too closely. At least, that's how I felt in my mind. Um, but, I mean, all things being said, I mean, they, they did a great job with the movie, and I'm pretty happy. Um, I will say that Simon Pegg is definitely one of my favorite uh, actors, and seeing him write movies uh, as he has in the past, and now writing for Star Trek, I think that's actually pretty fantastic. Um, the cast and crew did very well in their roles, um, but then in, they've never really faltered in my mind. Uh, Kirk has always been played very well. Spock has always been played very well, and same with uh, uh, the uh, <laughs> Dr. McCoy character. Um, it, it's, it's interesting for the fact that like those three characters seem to be the three that carry it the most, with next in my mind being Scotty. Um, and then after that, you have like Sulu, Uhura, and uh, and uh, Chekhov, and I mean, they did they did pretty fantastic. And I liked I liked the nod that they did uh, in this movie towards the original cast. Um, and of course, that's I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything. Even though this movie has been out for a little while now, um, it came out late July, and it's you know now the first week of August. So I'm sort of behind the time, so that's why I'm not really bothering with doing any sort of review. Um, this is more just like I want to talk about that movie. Um, I will say that the the setting for the movie and the story um, it seemed it seemed rushed at first, and it seemed like it didn't really make much sense for the characters to be where they are. But then as the movie actually progressed everything made a lot more sense and everything came together in a way that actually made it very uh very cool um i don't know what i was necessarily expecting i expected them to be stranded on a planet fighting for lot for their life and uh having some sort of uh you know force on the planet that they're on you know keeping them apart um i didn't quite get the full scope of what it was until i actually got in there but that's good i don't like having things spoiled for me and so that's why i'm not going to spoil things for anyone else um I will say, I feel like I'm saying that phrase a lot. Um, either way, uh, the movie was the movie is great. It's definitely worth a watch if you like Star Trek. Um, I think that it had some redeeming factors over the last movie. It didn't feel like a somewhat flip flop of a different movie's plot, because um, the the last one. I mean, you have to admit it was it was like uh, <laughs> it was the Wrath of Khan. But only with a different ending, <laughs> um, and I liked it. But it's just like, oh, it's like I've seen this movie before. Um, and then they tried to fit in, you know, Leonard Nimoy's Spock uh, at the end of at, at the end of it as well, or somewhere in there. Um, and it's like it wasn't really necessary. It's like if you're trying to differentiate yourself so much from the original series, then why go through the trouble of bringing in old cast members? And even though the old cast members are cool and it's fun to see the original Spock and it's great to see Leonard Nimoy actually doing some acting in probably one of my favorite roles that he's ever been, um, it, it's, it's better just to focus on the crew at hand. Um, I will say this. It, is, it reminded me as soon as I started watching the movie... Uh, about the sad things that have happened regarding uh, the actors that were in this, you know, associated with this film series. Uh, first off, you know, you got Anton, uh, was it Yelchin, uh, who died in a car crash um, or some car related incident uh, just recently. And I really do like in the fact that after all of the, the glitz and glare of the credit intro um, at the end of the movie, they take a nice quiet time and they say in memory of Anton and also in memory of Leonard Nimoy um, who also passed recently and I think that's fantastic I think that 
the nods that they did to the original crew in this movie um, without using any of the original actors were far better than using Spock again or using someone else in that movie again. Um, in the first movie, it made perfect sense to have Spock in there. He was a pivotal point of that movie to show that they were creating a different franchise. And that was important. They want to show that they're different. Um, and I can't see any reason why not to show that you are different. Um, but I think that they did a great job. Um, it was a little bit sad to know that that particular character is gone. Um, and I think it's ultimately very respectful of JJ uh, to say that that character won't be recast. Um, he'll be he'll be a character that exits that series, and that's that. Um, I'm curious to see like how they handle it in future movies because they've already basically confirmed uh, the existence of another movie in the works. Um, this time, basically, I think what it's going to if I remember correctly, it's going to deal directly with uh, Kirk and Kirk's father in some way, shape, or form, uh, actually being like, side by side in this instance. Sorry, uh, somebody keeps on texting me. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's that. Uh, for the other part of it, um, there's the issue with Sulu um, that I've been seeing a lot about on the internet and everything like that. Basically people talking about how Sulu's a gay character and how they address that in the movie, and then also how uh, George Takei, who is actually gay, who played Sulu, uh, feels about that situation. And I'm not really here to lay any judgment or say anything negative or, or anything like that about the situation, because, you know, like, whatever you want to be is whatever you want to be. However, I don't think it's n really necessary to do anything like that. If it's important to the story, if it's important to the character, why not? Um, but I will say this. Uh, the way that they handled it, even though it still felt like it was kind of shoehorned in there, like it was... The movie could have moved forward without it. But the way that they did it, it wasn't completely in your face. Um, and it wasn't... It wasn't obnoxious. It wasn't, it wasn't like one of those like facepalm moments. It, was, it made sense. It fit the character. I was okay with it. I was perfectly fine watching it, um, and basically they, they introduce the fact, and it's gone. And then they reintroduce the fact, and it's gone. And it doesn't change the way that Sulu is as a character. Um, it does, however, give Sulu a drive uh, in a later portion of the movie, uh, and I can... I love the way that the character handled that. Um, it was, it was definitely an emotional part, and you know why he was so emotional about it. Um, so I think that respectfully they handled the situation well, although it wasn't necessarily needed, um, but they did a good job. Um, I don't, I, I don't know, it's just, it's so weird to hear people get so uppity about um, gender changes in characters or racial racial changes or even um you know sexual orientations of characters when really in reality it doesn't matter at all um if a writer wants to write a character a specific way um as long as they stay true to the character and they do justice to the story that they're telling then why not let them have a little bit of creative license um it shouldn't really change anything uh but that's really going to do it for this um it was a great movie, uh, and I'm going to post little, <laughs> not necessarily reviews, but I want to talk more about movies because I really like movies and I really like talking to people about them. So if you've seen uh, the newest Star Trek, Star Trek Beyond, please uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you think about it. I'm, I, I went to it alone, so I haven't had a chance to really talk to anybody about this movie yet. Um, and I'm trying to think of people that I know that would have seen it. Because I do want to talk, because, oh my god, <laughs> uh, I do want to talk about it. But anyway, I'll post 
a link up here to another video uh, somewhere on my channel and uh, check that out and why not hit the subscribe button down below to uh, subscribe and follow me for updates. You can follow me on social media at like Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I also have Facebook and yeah, that's going to be it. We'll see you guys later. Bye.